Imagine a world where survival means different things at each level of wealth. From barely scraping by to living in luxury, each financial level shapes lives, choices, and opportunities. But what does it really mean to move from one level to the next? Let's dive into the fascinating journey through wealth. Number one, extreme poverty. Imagine you're playing a video game on hard mode with no special tools or skills. That's what extreme poverty feels like. Here, you're living on less than $2.15 per day, meaning essentials like food, clean water, shelter, and healthcare are practically luxuries. Think about how you start your day, breakfast, clean water, and maybe a quick check of your phone. In extreme poverty, each of these is a daily struggle or even completely out of reach. People in extreme poverty often have access only to low quality food that lacks proper nutrients, which impacts their health and energy. Clean water might not even be an option and diseases from dirty water become a constant threat. Health issues, unfortunately, go untreated because medical care is too expensive or far away. This level of poverty is truly about survival, with each day being an uphill battle against hunger, sickness, and insecurity. Number two, poverty. Being in poverty isn't as extreme, but it's still a daily struggle. Imagine you're playing Monopoly with no starting money or properties. Each time you pass go, you get a bill instead of cash. That's what poverty is like. Every day is about making hard choices, like deciding between a meal and keeping the lights on. Poverty is defined differently depending on where you live. For example, an income that may be considered poor in one country could be comfortable in another. Poverty also limits opportunities. It's not just about money. It impacts access to education, healthcare, and other resources that could help someone climb out of the poverty cycle. Some people experience relative poverty, where they can afford basic needs but miss out on community activities or social events, making them feel isolated. Number three, lower middle class. Now we step into the lower middle class, those who are just above the poverty line. Think of a group of hardworking folks who manage to keep the bills paid but can't splurge on much. They live in modest neighborhoods, drive reliable cars, and often hold steady jobs in fields like teaching, trades, or administration. People in this class may save a little, perhaps for emergencies or college, but big purchases or luxuries are usually out of reach. They're stable and manage their budgets carefully, balancing essential expenses like rent, utilities, and groceries. But buying a new phone or treating themselves to a fancy dinner can feel like a huge financial decision. It's a lifestyle of careful planning and mindful spending, allowing them to feel financially secure while still being cautious of unexpected expenses. Number four, middle class. The middle class is what many consider the comfortable zone. If life were a game, the middle class would be right in the middle, not struggling, but not swimming in luxury. This group typically has stable jobs, own homes, and can afford small luxuries like vacations or dining out occasionally. Middle-class life involves stability, with enough to cover basic needs and some flexibility to enjoy leisure activities. But there's also a limit. They can afford to buy a new phone every few years, but high-end brands and luxury items are out of reach. Many middle-class jobs are stable, like teaching or office work, offering security but not enough for early retirement or taking big financial risks. Number five, upper middle class. In the upper middle class, life gets a bit more luxurious. Imagine sitting in the roomy section of an airplane. You're not in first class, but you're not crammed in economy either. People here enjoy stable, well-paying jobs, often in fields like senior management, law, medicine, or entrepreneurship. Being in this class means you can afford a nice home, a quality education for your kids, and annual vacations. Luxury comes into play, but it's balanced. You might belong to a golf club, have a premium gym membership, or dine at upscale restaurants. Yet while they have the means for comfort, they're still cautious with spending. Private jets and high-end sports cars aren't standard. Number six, affluent. Affluence is the next step up, where people live with comfort and stability. Imagine a life where you have all the essentials, but also some luxuries, like a home with designer furniture or a car that's more than just reliable. Affluent people have substantial financial security, 
allowing them to comfortably cover their needs and enjoy luxuries. Affluent individuals can afford quality vacations, invest in stocks or properties, and dine at high-end restaurants without worrying too much about the bill. Their lifestyle is characterized by choice and flexibility, enabling them to pursue hobbies, interests, or even philanthropic efforts. However, affluence isn't boundless wealth. It's having a safety net that offers peace of mind without reaching celebrity level fame or riches. Number seven, upper affluent. Upper affluent individuals take comfort to another level. Imagine being able to make big purchases without checking your account first. That's the kind of security they have. Their income allows them to not only meet basic needs, but also enjoy high-end experiences and luxury items. This group can afford upscale cars, own multiple properties, and travel in luxury. They may invest in unique experiences, such as fine dining or exclusive events. Upper affluent people are often surrounded by a network of other high earners, with conversations focused on investments, travel, and sometimes philanthropy. Many also hire financial advisors to help manage their wealth. Number eight, millionaire. The term millionaire might sound like a fairy tale, but it means having a net worth of at least a million dollars. This includes everything they own, like homes, stocks, and businesses, minus any debts. Millionaires have the financial freedom to live comfortably, covering their needs and desires without much worry. Millionaires might own large homes, luxury cars, and even a yacht or two. They also prioritize investments, often growing their wealth through real estate, stocks, or new business ventures. For a millionaire, daily expenses are minor compared to their wealth, and they might splurge on vacations or luxury gadgets. However, the millionaire lifestyle can vary based on location. For example, a million might stretch further in a small town than in an expensive city. Number nine, multimillionaire. When you've surpassed the million dollar mark, you enter the realm of multimillionaires. Imagine having enough wealth that even your calculator might struggle to show all the zeros. Multimillionaires often have assets in the tens or hundreds of millions, allowing them even greater flexibility and comfort. This level of wealth means owning multiple properties, luxury cars, and even valuable art or collectibles. Multimillionaires can make decisions based on their interests rather than financial need, often pursuing hobbies, passion projects, or even unique ventures. Their investments and assets work continuously to grow their wealth, making financial stability a given. Being a multimillionaire offers freedom to explore life without worrying about bills or expenses focusing instead on personal fulfillment and legacy. Number 10, billionaire. A billionaire is in a class of their own, with wealth that's hard for most of us to imagine. Being a billionaire means having at least $1 billion in net worth, which opens doors to a life filled with private jets, luxury yachts, and endless investment opportunities. Billionaires often own massive companies, multiple luxury homes around the world, and have significant influence. Their wealth allows them to fund charitable causes, support startups, and impact industries globally. In fact, billionaires don't just create wealth. They shape culture and drive economic trends. They have a team managing their wealth, and they rarely face limits in terms of lifestyle or choices. For billionaires, wealth is not just a financial tool. It's a legacy, giving them the power to shape the future for themselves and others. So, there you have it a journey through the levels of wealth, from extreme poverty to billionaire status. Each level has its own lifestyle, challenges, and choices, reminding us that wealth is more than just a number. If you found this exploration of wealth interesting, remember to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.